Boy or girl? What will it be? Check out my video to see. <laughs> Not me, my sister is expecting. And I'm gonna show you how to make a big, beautiful centerpiece perfect for a gender reveal or a baby shower, all Dollar Tree on a budget, and some other fun decor. These beautiful balloons, you can find it at a Dollar Tree for just $1 each. Also, you're gonna need some ribbons and tissue paper, a basket or a container from Dollar Tree, a pool noodle or floral foam, uh, some uh, bamboo skewers, long and short, and mini Hershey chocolate bars, and a pink and blue marker. You're going to highlight either he or she or both if it's a gender reveal party. Just in case if you haven't inflated these balloons before, I'll quickly show you. It comes with a plastic straw. You insert it through the hole, uh, about two inches, and you blow it up real easy, about two or three times, it's gonna be full. And when done, you just remove the straw. That's all, very easy, just like that. This is such an amazing value for $1 each. You can really create a big impact for your decoration. You can hang these on the wall, or you can use them in a centerpiece, like I'm gonna show you. And that large planter arrangement behind me, I'm taking that to the party as well. You might have seen me create it at uh, Easter time, and I'm so happy to repurpose it for the baby party. We also gonna repurpose the welcome peep sign. That's also Dollar Tree created at Easter time in this video, if you like to refer back to it. Back to the centerpiece, since we're not gonna hang our balloons, we're gonna fold these tabs over and tape them down. Next, as you know, I like to use the pool noodle for my floral foam because it's just a bigger bag for a bag. Next, we're going to use the skewers as stakes to put in the balloon in the centerpiece. It just use some clear tape. Next, we are going to insert the balloon in a pool noodle. Actually, if you have two, you might have to play around with the placement a little more. You know, adjust the stakes a little bit and make sure that both balloons are visible. Next, we are going to cover the pool noodle with some tissue paper. And actually, it's better to use a contrasting color. So I'm gonna insert blue under the pink balloon and pink under the blue, just so it shows better. And now the sweet part. <laughs> and my daughter and her friend colored all the he and she's and Hershey bars for me. And all I have to do now is just tape the uh, little chocolates uh, to the bamboo skewers. And I got some shorter ones at a dollar store. And now it's easy, just insert the chocolates all around the arrangement. You might wanna use some hot glue to glue the chocolate picks to the front of the basket. Now we're just gonna wrap a ribbon around the basket. And also I cut four strips of 20 inch long ribbon here. And I'm going to make two two-loop bows. This is very easy, we call them bestie bow. This is a miniature version. You can refer to the bestie bow tutorial for exact step-by-step -step instructions. And just use hot glue to attach the bows to the front and back of the basket. And just like that, we get a large centerpiece for a baby party for under $10.
everything from Dollar Tree. And what's great about it too is that guests could enjoy the chocolate throughout the party or use it in their s'mores like we're going to do. If you like, you can put a cellophane bag on it and give it as a gift as well. I also have other baby gift basket idea on my channel. Very adorable with the baby clothes and diapers. You might want to check that out too. Are you excited to find out the gender of the baby? <laughs> I can't wait to take you to the party. But first we have to make a cake topper. I ordered this delicious cake from my friend. Sometimes I make my own cakes too, but this time I didn't have time. And we're going to make a cake topper using Dollar Tree items. Like this uh, letter stencil, two bamboo skewers, burlap ribbon or any other ribbon that goes with your decor, and also this jute cord. First, we're going to cut the ribbon in three inch squares. Next, fold your squares in half and cut in an angle diagonally to get little triangles. Okay, let's plan out the banner. We're going to put the skewers in a V shape and let's see how long the jute cord has to be. All right, this is good. We're going to cut the piece now. Actually going to do two strings and spell out boy or girl. And we're gonna use some black paint with a stencil to do the letters. Get this sponge at a Dollar Tree, just dab it down or use your paintbrush. I actually use my paintbrush for touch-ups because burlap is a rough surface, so it doesn't always cover everything, but I just love the rustic feel of it still. Next, you're going to tie your jute to the skewers and I love wire jute cord. It makes it so much easier. And then you're going to just glue down all your triangles. And you can tap it off with little jute bows on the sides. And how cute is this banner? Just like that customized banner for pennies because you cannot even say you spend a dollar here. <laughs> And you can make one for any occasion, customize it with the name or anything. I chose rustic because we're going to have our potty outside. I don't think I told you we're going to make a bonfire and have s'mores. <laughs> don't worry, we're going to be safe. What a coincidence with what's going on. I feel so bad. I make a couple s'mores with my daughter just at home to decorate the cake. So cute and inexpensive, don't you agree? <laughs> I love it. You don't have to be a professional or spend a lot to create something unique and adorable like that. Well, anyway, are you ready? Let's go find out the gender of the baby. I'm so excited to take you to the party. Blue or pink, what do you think? Type down below. <laughs> take a peep, what do you think? Hmm? <laughs> We're gonna place the centerpiece right here, and here's my helper. The O Baby balloons and the garland comes from Walmart, $5. My daughter and her friend helped blowing up the balloons, the combination of pink, blue, and gold. I think it's so adorable. The girls are so excited. They're hoping for a girl, just like me. They wore pink today. And here's the whole football team that hopes for a boy. <laughs> I think I forgot to mention that my sister has three boys already. <laughs> so this is Jake, my godson. You met him before. He is the middle child. And then there's the youngest, Tommy. He's going to be a big brother now. And the oldest, Nick. He is same age as my son, only five days apart. Now we got served. There's going to be a new peep in the house. <laughs> because there's nothing more fun than the baby, right? <laughs> the smalls are ready. And here's a goodie bag idea for you guests. Just a Graham cereal, mini marshmallows and chocolate chips. Just like uh, mini s'mores. So cute. And I printed these tags of the computer. 
I forgot to mention that my sister and I love the peeps. We actually roast them on the fire because they're so delicious and hence the inspiration in our decor. We use the plushies that come in a set with marshmallows and put them in centerpieces. Adding color coordinating candy is always a great idea to decorate the table. I love those practical decorations that you can eat. Fruit punch is always a hit with the kids and you can color coordinate it with your decor as well, which is great. Don't you hate when there's open water bottles on the tables everywhere? That's why we like to include a Sharpie marker so guests could sign their own bottles. And here's something delicious for me. My bestie Diana makes the best sangria. <laughs> All right, we got the drinks, we got the Polish kielbasa, we can get the party started. <laughs> the most important person is here, the keeper of the gender. She got the envelope from the doctor and she prepared the game for us. The three balloons with the same color confetti will reveal the gender. More guests arriving with all these fun t-shirts. I'm just loving it. <laughs> He or she, we can no longer wait to see. <laughs> Coco, is everyone ready? <laughs> All right, let's get started. Is it, is it a boy, boy or a girl? Is it, is it a boy or a girl? Oh! 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 Yeah. 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 Look, you have to go to the right side, it's going to be a boy. Up there, at the top. Oh. Oh. So maybe I can go. No, you don't. Can I go? Yeah. yeah. No, you do. You just go oh, get it. it. You know what? I think you should throw the dart. Go for the biggest one, don't Mike. The, the biggest again. one. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't
Wasn't that the most exciting gender reveal ever? Alright my besties, thank you so much for watching. I hope you find some of these ideas useful in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you're gonna know when I'm back here with a new video. Take care, bye bye!